So we are in Nagarkor, not too far from Bhaktapur and uh, we are on the rooftop of our hotel because in Nagarkor you can see amazing sunrises and sunsets You can see the Himalaya <laughs> You can see the silhouette The visibility is not that great but um, yeah we can still see something Sorry, I'm so sleepy. David is flying the drone, the sun is up, birds are chirping and we can hear a bit of music from far away. Not too bad and some mountains are starting to light up. We don't know if there is Everest there, we should do a research about it. But they look huge and um, yeah, we can see the snow. And here we are just surrounded by laundry and bed sheets of our hotel. A place to do some laundry. Some other hotels here. There's a hill. And here we can see these lovely mountains. And here is where the sun is rising. Here's the little trail that we're gonna get. David is already walking because we have so much dust from this. In fact, I'm using my phone. I'm not using the camera yet. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, look at these flowers, how nice they are. It's good to see a bit of color on this trail. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. It feels good to be off from the dusty road. It was enough, full of dust everywhere. Finally, we are out from the city in the forest. We can hear some birds, we can see some flowers. A lot of pine trees as well. Ah, yes. And hopefully we're gonna see a couple of mountains as well. Let's see, because the visibility is not the best. Let's go. Looks like you have to watch out here because it crumbles uh, very easily. I don't know why there is some sand there. We're building something. Some steps here. That is lovely. And I think this is a wild orchid. And uh, all the trail uh, is signed with this pink uh, dot uh, on some of the trees. Just watch how to put the hands on the trees because we are in a pine trees forest and there's a lot of uh, resins and can be sticky on your hands. You should use maps.me because it's very good for uh, offline maps. Maybe some of you know this already and it uh, shows you the path. Now actually we have to check it because the trail uh, it splits in two sides. So we need to decide where to go. Probably we take the left. Probably don't go. Don't go. There are some bamboos. Baby bamboos as well here. Looks like we are halfway through. Almost in the middle. Oh, there you go. There's the path. Let's see. We thought uh, it would be like a all flat hike, but it's not. <laughs> It's a hike actually. <laughs> you have some steps as well. This way after 19 meters you have to turn left. Look at that. It's our lucky day today. Not much, but maybe we can get something for it. 30 rupees. Actually it's only 15. First time we see the 5 rupees. And this one is a 10, so 15. Oh wow. You get one biscuit, one pack of biscuit for it. <laughs> And probably it's gonna pay us like a tea, <laughs> a chai tea, uh, <laughs> Nepali chai tea, Nepali milk tea. Can get over these flowers so nice. There is a little stream here as well. Looks like they are getting some water out of this little path. I put the exposure down because here there is something that is so shiny, like I don't know what is that. Pretty shiny, right? David, you didn't tell me there was a little waterfall with a small pool. 
I could have brought my swim costume. Are you going back to get me the swim costume? Sure. Checking the map, we are still uh, 950 meters away. Wow. We are not going forward, looks like. Look at them. Oh? Uh, my favorite flowers. How sad to see this. This shouldn't be here. Shit. Muddy, muddy. First this, this, and then this. That's a whole cut. All these pines. Branches. Still, they put it on top of the mud. So different now. Yeah, people, they are doing construction here. So Awful. Have to cross here. Let's see where it's taking us. I guess that's the viewpoint where we were before. Literally like the road. So, yeah, let's see. Ah, oh, good. There is a sign. Okay, up then. Get in there. Ooh. We found like a tea house. And then we found a friend. Look. Uh, <laughs> oh, he's a sweetie. He's a sweetie. Cute. Cute. Hopefully, no pipi on David's foot. So sweet, you are. So sweet. Not bad. We did a hike, and now we can have a tea, a bit of food, and enjoy this spectacular view. So there are so many terraces in front of us and there is like the valley, the hills. We can see a little bit the mountains with the snow, just a touch, because the visibility is not great. And you have the terraces there. Yeah, but unfortunately now it's like dry season, so it's a bit dusty. Not everywhere is green, but we have to come back after the rainy season to see. Yeah, some in the middle are green, but the others uh, are, they just have the soil. So um, probably, you know, they are going to have them uh, ready soon to plant some veggies. It is back. Thank you. Yeah. Not for you. <laughs> quite a lot of time at the viewpoint because another couple arrived actually they were in our same hotel and uh, we spent so much time talking about spirituality yoga it was quite interesting now we go back to the same trail through the forest and we are out We spent one night in one guest house here in Nagakor and after we had to change a place for a much more expensive one because we didn't extend on time and the weekend, you know, Friday, there are a lot of Nepalese people coming here to admire them for sunrise, the beautiful views um, and um, yeah, like, you know, if you just want to extend the place, especially in the weekend, just do it, don't wait for the last minute, just like we did, because then you might have some problems, especially if you are on a low budget. So yeah, we had to pay uh, 1,500 for this room. Uh, we even this one, we managed to negotiate it a little bit for 60 pence, like one euro less, but with the view. So this morning we could see the sunrise and David is enjoying uh, the terrace. So we are getting ready to go to Bhaktapur once again for another night. Uh, back again to Svastik uh, guest house and hostel. Uh, be sure the host is lovely and so helpful. It's gonna book us uh, a bus to Pokhara direct for tomorrow morning, 6.30 a.m. And uh, now we have to pack, get ready for a very dusty journey once again to Bhaktapur. <laughs> We're gonna be covered in dust uh, like 100%. There are a lot of things actually to do in the Kathmandu Valley, but one, we are not in the mood. Two, we don't want to walk too much, even though we are in Nepal. I think also it's not the best time to do it because um, here you would have very scenic um, landscapes, but because of the place right now, it, it would be very hazy. Even now in Agakor, during the day, 
the mountains are very hazy you can't see anything unless you wake up early and uh, look at the mountains um, at sunrise time so yeah I don't think we would enjoy and also a lot of places are not as green so we wouldn't enjoy like the terraces for sure we would enjoy like the local people and see how they live and whatnot but uh, let's see how it's gonna be in Pokhara and I wanted to say something like we were kind of shocked that um, even like uh, yesterday uh, we saw like uh, locals throwing outside from their windows like plastic bottles just like that you know in the nature even now from the terrace we saw the neighbor hotel a young guy like cleaning a hotel room their hotel room throwing like two uh, plastic bottles outside just like that in the valley and you know this kind of things it breaks our heart like we were saying with david like you know i wish we could throw him you know like from the terrace there rather than the plastic bottle so yeah if you're nepalese and you're watching this please try to raise awareness around and tell your friends you know don't do that you know i i know that like the the rubbish system is not the best because okay it's not europe so there are a lot of things that have to be improved in your country for sure but um i think you can just do like little things you know just put all the rubbish in the same place at least and not just like this randomly in the nature it's also not good for you for the tourists right that they have to see this so yeah that would ruin a bit the economy for you as well like tourist wise if you don't want to do it for the nature enjoying the last few moments here at the terrace before we embark on this crazy ride dusty one and um yeah subscribe if you haven't already like you know if you like this video that we show you this little cute uh, hiking trail in the forest maybe also like uh, share it with your friends and press the like button do all those things and um, if from from Nepal, let us know in the comments what you think about the rubbish situation here, which is no different from any other Asian countries, but we would like to hear what you think about it. And um, yeah, see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.